everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am just on my way quietly downstairs to get my stuff on. I'm getting ready to go for a walk with my dog Scotch. I um, am nursing a knee injury. So I'm not having as rigorous of a workout as I probably would like to or probably need to. Um, but I am just going to clear my mind, go out with Scotch and start the morning off on a right foot before we get into distance learning and the stuff I have for today and the week. So this is going to be a week in the life video. So let's go. Before we head out the door, I'm actually going to put away some cleaning supplies. I just ordered a bunch of cleaning supplies and paper towels and all that. And I'm just going to file those things away over here before we start our walk, take like five minutes. It just occurred to me I could talk about some of the cleaning supplies I, did, I got. I got this um, stainless steel wipes. I also uh, ordered this Better Life all-purpose cleaner. So we'll see. We use a variety of cleaning products around here. I get the ones that the housekeepers request, but we also have a couple other things. So they really love this. I didn't know about this. This is called uh, Barkeeper's Friend. So let me show you what it looks like because I have one that's already opened. I also have a couple of candles. Actually, these are Myers Clean Day candles. Let me see if I can open them. Oh, these candles smell so amazing, you guys. So I just got to figure out where I can fit this, maybe up at the very top or something. <laughs> surprise, surprise, German toilet paper rolls. The other two things that we got were this Clorox cleanup and um, the Bona Free and Simple hardwood cleaner. So we're just getting our day started. As I mentioned, I think Scotch has a little bit of a cold. Um, we boarded him for the first time because we traveled last week as a family uh, to Mexico. So I have always been able to um, let him stay with family when we go someplace else, but we thought it would be a good idea to board him and also give him the opportunity to interact with other dogs because he doesn't often interact with other dogs. Um, so I'm just concerned that he might've picked up a cold or something there, but I will have to get him to the vet this week. So another thing is we're getting close to Halloween and I usually decorate quite a bit. Last year we had a big Halloween party, but I don't think I'm gonna go for broke um, on Halloween now. We still aren't really congregating in large groups. So I think I'm just gonna save most of my energy for Christmas, but I just took out a couple things so it can feel a little bit more fun for the kids. So. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Looks like you guys are already up and at them. Yep. Nice. Mm -hmm. So I just got out of the shower. Um, I am taking it easy today and like not wearing a lot of makeup or anything because I'm coaching soccer later tonight. Uh, so I am not doing anything fancy, but I did put on this necklace. It's funny, I actually got this necklace uh, in Palm Springs at a Walmart. I just needed an, uh, some jewelry for a dinner out. I hadn't packed what I needed. So when we were on vacation in Palm Springs, um, but it's perfect for a day like today because, you know, you kind of want to feel fancy, but if something happens to it in the course of the day, home with the kids, it's not a big deal. So now I'm going to make my bed up and do a little bit more tidying, get myself a cup of coffee. I fast on Mondays, so really I only have coffee or tea or water uh, during the day. To look, um, I do allow myself to have coffee, tea, or water. Um... And then I'm just going to see what work I have to do, which is quite a bit. So I'm going to sit down. I have an article um, that's due because I'm a contributing editor to Red Tricycle. So I have an article about um, ways to incorporate social justice into the holiday season for parents and families. So I'm looking forward to getting that in. And just, you know, a couple other odds and ends that I need to sort out. <laughs> so the internet is out. And Lincoln, you're missing a packet. So let's see if we can find it. So I'm just going to make some coffee or tea here and get my day really, really going and go back and again, check in and see if some of the issues got resolved from the Wi-Fi and some of the missing work from distance learning.
All right, so I finally made it to have a seat at my desk. I just got off the phone with my nephew, Alexander, in Switzerland. The kids and I called him to sing happy birthday because it's his birthday. Um, the kids are stationed behind me, Elias sitting down, and Lincoln's having a bit of a break over there. Um, but we realized that Laya has student-led conferences today. It's really cool. Uh, in her homeschool hybrid pro uh, program, they do student-led conferences instead of parent-teacher conferences. So Laya is going to talk us through what she has been learning. All right, you all set for your conference? Yes. All right, I'm gonna come sit down next to you. Okay. All right, so Laya just joined into a conference. She's here. We are gonna hear all about what she's been learning about. Okay, I'm already on to my second cup of tea today. So right now I just finished printing out these writing prompts for the next couple of weeks of European art history. And I'm sending an email to a friend who is going to also come and speak at the art history class. And she's gonna talk, I think, about the Dutch uh, Baroque art period. So I just wanted to tell her thank you. I'm just sitting here getting this done right now. So we are going to have a little French lesson right now. Please, please. All right. yeah. so. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right. A la page 14. Un peu fait de l'exemple de le jeu de la semaine. Lincoln, qu'est-ce que c'est le jeu aujourd'hui? Lundi. Lundi, oui. Très bien. Aujourd'hui. Lundi, lundi. So I'm on my way down because we just got a notification from Alexa that the groceries are here and indeed they are from Amazon shopping. All right, so these are the groceries. I will show you what we hauled for the week. All right, so here are all the things from my grocery haul for the week. You can see I got a lot of fruit, berries, uh, watermelon, and oops, tons of pineapple. I actually really like pineapple and we like those in acai bowls. I have my proteins here. I just got um, tilapia. I got ground turkey, bacon, and chicken, organic chicken thighs. And then I got um, just croutons and wonton strips for salads this week. I got cashews. Um, I love, love you guys, these vegan cornbread muffins. They're so great. Um, salad, tons of yerba mate, a little uh, shot there. Um, some couscous, chocolate chip cookies, um, protein pancakes and English muffins, grapes, avocado, banana, apples, limeade. Um, you know, there's a big focus on simple lunches since the kids are doing distance learning. They love these pizza poppers. I also got some fresh soup that they like and um, strawberry milk, lactose free chocolate milk, and Honest Kids, I also got some raw almonds, ginger beer, dried cranberries also for salads. I love this, so it's so delicious. Um, coconut milk yogurt, because we're lactose intolerant. A couple of pine bars, pretzels, tortilla chips, some salsa, and some pork sausage, because um, I think I'm gonna do like a spaghetti kind of later in the week. Oh, and then, so I ordered um, Belgian waffles, and they ended up sending me protein Belgian waffles. So there's that's one thing about ordering your groceries through Whole Foods, they have to do substitutions. I actually really like it. Um, they will um, directly reach out to you to ask you if you approve of the substitution. If you don't, they'll go ahead and use their judgment and make that substitution. So these are for the kids, so ideally I wouldn't have gotten them protein pancakes, but if they like it, that'll be fine. They can have it. If not, Cookie and I will consume them. But yeah, so I'm gonna put these away. Getting our seat belts on, getting our soccer stuff on, and now we are headed to soccer practice. This is like the late shift right now. Okay, I'm just back on because Laya said that last ending was too abrupt, so. And you were too abrupt last time. Yes, abrupt. Yeah. You know, everyone's a critic. Everyone's a critic. Nope.
All right, so that's it. We're wrapping it up and heading home. So just made it home, Koki's home. And we're hey. just gonna take scotch out real quick. So I just took out a bunch of stuff. We're actually having these guardian burgers tonight. So I am just gonna prep all this. We didn't have actual beef steak tomatoes. We only have these, so Let's see if I can make this work for the burgers. Good morning. Welcome to Tuesday. All right, so we're already pretty well into the morning. The kids have already started their distance learning. I kind of got a little bit of a late start. I was actually editing a video that I'm gonna to try to post today. I have several things to do and several errands to run. I need to try to get Scott to the vet. I need to pick up my asthma inhaler. I have a nail appointment. So just, you know, not as hectic as it would be because soccer practice is actually canceled um, for tonight, Tuesday night. So I'll have to go to the soccer field. So I went ahead and got dressed so that I could feel a little bit more productive in my presentation, but it's gonna be another busy day, so let's go. So I'm just sitting down with Lincoln. We have to turn in his work for weeks six through nine on Thursday. So we're just going through and seeing if he had missed any problems or if there was anything that is outstanding that needs to be done so that he can turn in complete work packets right now. So we're just doing a little cleanup right now. And then I haven't heard back from the vet on taking scotch. So that's kind of um, throwing a wrench in my plans for today, but hopefully we'll hear back eventually. And then we have a couple of errands to do, just like I mentioned before, running to CVS. I'm gonna see if I can ship off a late birthday present for my niece, uh, Luna. Okay, so we're just on our way back from running our errands. Um, we didn't end up taking scotch today, but I did get a call back from the vet and just consulted with them about his symptoms. And surprisingly, they told me that, um, you know, it could fall under the purview of an allergic reaction and that dogs can take Benadryl, who knew? So I had to go to the drugstore anyway to pick up my uh, inhaler prescription. So we also got scotch some Benadryl. So hopefully that'll work out. Um, and now we're just on our way back home. I'm going to make a quick dinner because I have a nail appointment this evening and Lila's is going to youth group um, for church. So day continues. So happy Wednesday, everybody. I am already well into the day. The kids have been distance learning for over an hour already. Uh, Laya has an online literature class. Lincoln is doing his uh, normal schooling. I think I hear the bell, meaning that they are back on right now. I took Scotch out for a walk. I also um, had, had a phone call with my dad, had just catching up with him. That actually took a while because we haven't talked in a minute. And then I'm about to jump into some stuff for our foundation, the Narte Sports Foundation. Uh, we started that foundation about two years ago and I'm the executive director and I see there's a potential collaboration opportunity with a group called the Collective Identity and there is a potential uh, scholar athlete who could be a recipient of a scholarship. So I'm going to look into that, follow up with that, finish up the Red Tricycle article. Laya also has a virtual violin lesson today and we've got soccer practice tonight. So another busy day in the group. Oh, I almost forgot to show my manicure from last night. So I did get that done. Love it. <laughs> All right, so it is like past 10.30, so I'm super late in the game. So I did this great coaching course with a life coach called Tara Nicole Nelson. I highly recommend her uh, if you're interested in doing any coaching in your life. And something that she taught me was about the idea of open loops, which are ideas or outstanding projects that you have. And she really trains you to write those things down so you get them out of your head and onto paper and they can start to become actionable items. So an open loop that I have right now is my knee. I really probably need to get into physical therapy for my knee. I have a really close friend who's a physical therapist who works for a company that does at-home physical therapy. So I need to get myself going with that. And then another open loop is a little bit of a redesign for our living room area. I am planning 
just over my shoulder, you see this little console. I want to kind of get a different piece of furniture and rework it and let that be my coffee espresso bar area. So I have this fantasy of being able to do that so that I can have coffee and tea with my friends um, in the little sitting space that's behind me. That's kind of like my ladies salon. The other side of the room is a little bit more gentlemanly and that's where Kofi likes to hang out. There's the television over there and the bars over there and you know, that's kind of, uh, you know, his area. I mean, we don't discriminate by gender, but there are definitely some stronger masculine overtones over there and some stronger feminine overtones over here, so. <laughs> Okay, so Laya's in the middle of choosing a piece of artwork that she's gonna recreate for her art project. So what were you thinking about? Wander above, wander above the sea of fog. Okay, so what kind of ideas do you have about how to change it? Any ideas yet? Not really. Lincoln is going to help me make lunch. We are making acai bowls, so we've got all this but Lincoln offered to help, so I'm taking him up on that. So I still haven't made it to the post office yet, but I just have these cute things that I'm about to pack up for my niece. The kids made her a card with an Elmo on it. Um, she calls me Auntie Elmo, or at least that's the nickname, because she really loves Elmo. And I remember once I called her, like one of the first times when she started talking, and I said, hi, and my sister said, who is it, Luna? And Luna just goes, Elmo. <laughs> so that's it, I got named Auntie Elmo. But we like picked up this really beautiful embroidered little jumpsuit when we were in Mexico for her. Got her some Hunter rain boots. She lives in New York City, so that's gonna be great for her for the weather. Another cute little outfit, a little puffy coat. So I'm just gonna pack all this up and hopefully try for Thursday to get these to the post office. Okay, so we're about to dash out to soccer practice early because uh, head coach said he's going to be running a little bit late. So I need to get there to make sure I set up for the girls. All right, good morning. Happy Thursday. I'm starting off the day just laying out some clothes because this weekend we're going to do an overnight trip uh, to San Diego. We're gonna visit with Kofi's mom and his brother. We just made a dinner reservation at Javier's, real nice and simple, but it'll be great for us to get together with them because we haven't seen them uh, in a while, especially with all of this lockdown. So it's morning time. I didn't have the best sleep last night. I am just going to try this draft latte that Kofi brought for me, see if that can't give me the kick in the pants that I need. Uh, in just a couple hours, we are going to do our art history class. And then I need to go and turn in Lincoln's work and pick up his next parcel of work. I have already got the dishwasher going. You probably hear that going in the background. I also need to pack up for the kids for our trip uh, this weekend. Lincoln has soccer practice and I also volunteer as his assistant soccer coach. So I've got that going on today. Um, and just a few other things. I still haven't gotten this article finished, so I need to get that done. We're just approaching the end of the week. So it's kind of like uh, go time. <laughs> Last week for Art History, we had a guest speaker who came and talked about, you know, what art is and how we can observe art and how we can evaluate art. So she did such a beautiful job. What I'm trying to do right now is put together a gift uh, package for her that just includes this organic wine. We have some friends who import this organic wine from Italy. I'm gonna put in some cheese and then um, the other little girl that's in the collaborative with Laya made a thank you card that we're gonna add in here. So I have this box, uh, Side is the company that um, Kofi is a part of with his real estate company, Society um, 
real estate and development. So we got this box from them and I'm just repurposing it as a gift box because it's so sturdy. It's gonna be great to protect the wine and the cheese. And so I also am gonna try to see if I can get that to her this evening. All right, so we just finished art history class and we are going to run over to Lincoln School. It's gonna be a buzzer beater because we need to turn in his work packets that he's been doing and pick up his next uh, packet of work. So let's, let's go guys. All right, so that was really quick. We just made it back home. I'm gonna try to do lunch. We're gonna give Scotch his flea and tick medicine and Laya has a magnesium appointment and then we're going to try to squeeze in the post office before we go to Lincoln Soccer Practice. Ready? Yeah. How was practice? Good. What was your favorite part? Mm, probably shooting. Shooting. All right, so we're back from soccer practice and it looks like Kofi's got something here. What's yes. this? Yes, so I was at the office today. My good friend Christoph, who is the creator of this amazing beverage, it's called Armagnac. It's uh, a competitor for cognac. He created the medallion, the logo, the boxing, the packaging. It's already won a gold medal from Paris in 2019 amazing. for flavor. And that's in the blind taste testing. But just the package alone is just worth wow. sharing. Look at this. Gorgeous. Cardinal de Four. It's delightful. It's smooth, easy on the palate. So I told them I would share the experience with, uh, with friends and family. Good morning, everyone. Thank God we have made it to Friday. I'm really excited um, to wrap up this week, finish strong. We are gonna have our general science collaborative here in just a minute. Uh, Laya's classmate is gonna come and her father and we're gonna do a couple of science experiments out on the patio. Lincoln's already doing his distance learning. I definitely have to get this article in today, follow up with a couple of things for the foundation. Um, and then hopefully the rest of the day is gonna be pretty low key. And then we are just gonna have a chilled out dinner, finish packing up and getting ready for our trip to San Diego tomorrow. just opening up these flowers I got from Kofi. What's really nice is a couple of years ago for Mother's Day, Kofi actually got me a flower just, um, delivery subscription. And so every month I get fresh flowers from Bloomsy Bob and they are always so beautiful and interesting. Sometimes they are really exotic, but they're always also seasonal. So you can kind of see these have the beautiful fall colors like right on theme. It's kind of a nice way to end the evening. Okay, so we are getting ready to head out on our little road trip. Yes, indeedy. We are gonna have a nice little family weekend getaway, catch up with Kofi's mom, catch mm -hmm. up with Kofi's brother, yeah. have dinner, just enjoy a little bit of an unplug, much needed, because you guys have seen how this week has gone. The grind is real. It the is real. Is real. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna go drop off scotch and hit the road. It is. So here we go, we are finally on our way to go drop off scotch and to hit the road on this road trip. All right, so we're on our way down and I'm already catching a little flack because I was saying I forgot to pack a perfume and so I was just thinking we could make just a little teeny tiny stop on the, a little pit stop to pick. It's like you don't trust me. It's like you don't trust that Quote I- Quote unquote forgot, okay? Pit stop, yeah, pit stops are at gas stations. So whatever air freshener that you can rub up against yourself to get through the weekend, that's what we're doing. Listen, they have listen. some nice new scents at the Shell station, so we're you good. You see how these people won't let me be green? Excuses to shop. Come on. See this? <laughs> have a lunch. Okay, so we made it. Here we are in the room getting ourselves sorted out. We're just going to take a load off before we head to dinner later. There he is. 
<laughs> Alright, so I just got out of the shower. I haven't done makeup yet, but we are going to have a little get ready champagne because that always makes the getting ready part of the evening go a little quicker, a little smoother. So, hey, hey, this is what we're doing today. Just a mini little sort of uh, mini version. A for... micro, micro champagne, the perfect size for perfect get ready, size. get ready perfect champagne. Size. So, always recommend pack yourself some get ready champagne. Okay, so makeup is done and we are getting ready to walk out. I am actually done within a reasonable time, right? That was pretty good. <laughs> reasonable, <laughs> reasonable. Skitty, what up, man? What's up, brother? How you doing? Good, man. Good, good to see you guys. Hey, guys. Hi, Okay, so we're back in the room and I'm actually about to have my dessert now. My mother-in-law made some cookies for us that we brought back. She sent us a little care package, so sweet. Everybody had some, they, I guess they were like sneaking them in at the restaurant, but I didn't have any, but I'm about to have some now. You guys already know who that was. You already know who that was. I'm about to have some now. Your monologue. Kofi just playing around with kids. I am falling asleep. You ready to go? Not really. Why not? Need a little more downtime. A little more, <laughs> little more downtime. More rest. <laughs> exactly. exactly. I tried to give you all the downtime while I was getting ready. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Bottoms, by the way. All good things must come to an end. Weekend trip is over, and we are headed back home. Thanks for watching. <laughs>